what's happening? My name, as always, is Taylor Gray, and if it's not, then I don't know what I'm doing on his channel. This is the first type out of hopefully many videos I post on this channel. Everyone, welcome to a new segment that I like to call Vent with Taylor Gray. This is a segment I've actually wanted to do for a little while, and now I'm finally doing it for you guys. I'm not even required to wear pants, so let, let's, let's get started. Today's topic on Vent will be Frozen. Now all of you know Frozen is the hit Disney musical that came out just a few years ago. Princes, princesses, mystical creatures, great music with a great story. Everyone loves it. Yet, you know how they say the more attention a movie gets, the more nitpicking is gonna happen with it? That might be the case here. Doesn't mean I can't vent about it though. You see what I did there? Do you see what I did there? One of my complaints about it is actually near the beginning of the movie. Kristoff and Sven follow an icy path led by the royal family. But the royal family stops on the outskirts of the forest, right in the middle of some rocks. You suddenly see the rocks roll to them and come to life. One of them rolls over to young Sven and Kristoff. It says to them, Cuties, I'm gonna keep you. A touching scene in the backstory of Kristoff and Sven, right? Wrong? I have a few things wrong with the scene. The first being that when she said, Cuties, I'm gonna keep you. It was just over, like that. No papers to sign, no foster home to visit and say, hey, can I take these? Thanks, bye. And although it's not shown, Kristoff and Sven pretty much said, yeah, screw those guys we were cutting ice with. They probably only get food and money and shelter out of it all. I agree with you, Kristoff. Why did Kristoff give Sven a weird voice? I can never get over that. The second thing I can't get over in this scene is, what the hell is that? I mean, I walked into this theater knowing that there would be reindeer and snowmen and someone letting it go, but I was not planning on seeing any mystical rock trolls that are better than any doctor in the kingdom. I know what you're thinking. I probably missed the trailer that had that little bit of information in it. But the rock trolls are never explained. They just exist. They just look like a bunch of smurfs that went AWOL and decided to go live in the forest and learn about choreography and singing. But anyway, the whole reason the rock trolls roll into this movie is because of Elsa. The king and queen's daughter who can shoot ice from her hands, feet, and pretty much any other appendage at her will. Okay, so now... Oh, totally forgot. What? I mean, I know this is a Disney movie and all, but can we have a bit of an explanation? I mean, I know some stuff about genes. I had biology last year, but never once was said in that class that you could pass genes down to your heir that could possibly give them the powers of Frozone. And what's stranger is that Anna, her sibling, has absolutely no powers at all. There's nothing even close between the two sisters. While Anna's a pure redhead, Elsa is a total blonde. Look at the king and queen. Someone was not loyal to the royals. Darling, we have two beautiful girls. Yes, we do, dear. And while their differences are plenty, especially the fact that one of them has, like, eyes shooting out of her hands. Yeah, I'm not sure whose side of the family is to blame about that. I can't help but question how one of our daughters is completely blonde and none of our family's past has any blonde in it at all. Beats me, that's all I'm saying. And now that I've hit some big vents from the movie Frozen, it's time that we go into our quick events. These aren't big deals, just minor events that I'd like to spew at you guys. It's kind of a loose cannon, so you might want to watch out. How does this piece of the big summer blowout have some of the best comedic timing in all the movie? Why does this man dance like this? Who chose him to be Duke? How do you create life with your hands? Exhibit A, and last, but certainly not least, how did she climb this mountain in one night? I mean, I know she can like use all her ice powers to make like a big staircase or something, but she didn't even know she was capable of that until she sang the song Let It Go. You got all the way up to the top of this mountain in one night. Have you seen the movie Everest? Have you seen Jake Gyllenhaal struggle? That should do it for this episode of Ben. Thank you guys for watching. If you want to give this video a thumbs up or subscribe to my channel, then please do. And this has been my video. If you like it, great, and if you don't, Great. Join me next time when I vent about Frozen 2. It's coming. Let's talk about all the good things and the bad things that may be. Let's talk about me.